ओके ओके आई गेस वी आर लाइव आई जस्ट चेक इन माय इट्स गिविंग मी टू एंड द स्ट्रीम ओके वी आर लाइव आई गेस या कूल ओके सो एज इफ यू फॉलो मी ऑन इंस्टाग्राम यू वुड नो दैट we are starting with the series where i would try to you know develop a habit of reading <laughs> okay i i can't read books or finish books or oh, okay so i want to try you know start reading it <clears throat> so uh, the first book justin is the first viewer bro <laughs> okay justin this is just a trial run <laughs> i was not expecting anyone but okay that's why i didn't post um on instagram that i am going live or anything but okay if you are here awesome bro okay so i just you know started with the first chapter in uh, introduction and i did not finish it i read a few um uh, pages and yeah you would think that introduction would be small chapter but man it's huge okay so um this is basically the importance of uh, analysis of algorithm and how we you know determine the analysis of algorithm i have actually read this chapter once before but yeah this time i was making notes so it took me um, a lot of time and that's why i could not finish the chapter at once okay so yeah if you want to see this repo uh there will be uh, the link will be in the description of this uh video live stream or you can simply go to my github uh, which is urban codes and you will find the ds-elgo-made-easy-notes okay and there is only one folder introduction you can go there and open the chapter digest md if you want to read the notes okay so the okay for watching oh i did not i actually did not expect anyone to be here <laughs> now i'm a bit nervous <laughs> okay so i hope the voice is clear if you are there you can tell me yes no anyone listening or they just joined and left hmm okay so let's not uh, waste like that so if i'm not clear please tell me okay i mean my voice if my voice is not very clear please tell me okay so uh, chapter starts off with the definition of variables which as programmer we should know and that's basically boxes that hold values in them right so uh, variables are much like in maths they will um, contain value in them and then uh, since we are dealing with data types so uh, data structures that means data and so we should know about data types right so data types are basically the type of data like integer floating point go ahead bro yeah thank you thank you justin okay so integer floating point uh, point character string etc okay the so basic data types and um, each data contain uh, you know take a specific amount of memory in computer right so that it can basically store right so uh, for example integer will that depends on compiler so for uh, 32 bit compiler it would take 2 bytes of memory and for 64 bit compiler it would take integer would take 4 bytes of memory and like that uh, float takes 4 byte and double takes 8 or uh, i am not sure but yeah that's how so each of data type will take specific amount of uh, memory in computer okay so <coughs> there are two types of data types uh, one is system defined data types or and data types so uh, system defined data types are basically the data types which come with the programming language inbuilt 
like the programming language defines them that's why they are predefined data types okay so like integer float characters double boolean these are the common uh, data types which many programming languages give us right and yeah so uh, the memory allocated which i was talking earlier uh, depends on the programming language as well okay not just a compiler but uh, on the programming language and the operating system as well okay then the, uh, there is a user defined data types okay so if you know java or python or any object oriented language you would know classes right so the classes is a user defined data type basically we define uh, you know if we need more than uh, more than uh, what programming language actually give us we can define our own data type like in c we don't have classes but we have structures right so we can define like this here's an example of c uh, we have defined a new type okay a structure uh, whose name is new type and there is three primitive data type so basically the user defined data type will be built of uh, primitive data type only but yeah that is defined by user programming language doesn't care simply <clears throat> okay okay so what's data structure so basically now we have data but now we want to store data in such form that we can use it efficiently right so and that basically depends on the program we are writing uh, the problem we are solving you uh, that's why there is no not one efficient data structure we have many efficient i mean we have many data structure whose efficiency efficiency <laughs> depends on the type of problem we are trying to solve okay so uh, the general data uh, structures you might have um, heard of is array files which we generally use linked list stacks queues trees graphs and so on okay so basically data structure is a special format for organizing and storing data which you can right okay so depending on the organization of uh, elements data structure can be classified into two linear data structure and non -linear structure are basically where um, elements are accessed in sequential order please note here elements are accessed not stored it's not necessary to store elements sequentially like in array we store elements in sequentially agreed but in linked list it's not necessary that you would store uh, your uh, elements sequentially right uh, okay so linear data structure are where um, elements are accessed sequentially okay then there is non linear data structure just opposite of it okay so here uh, we neither store or access uh, data sequentially okay we do it non linearly <laughs> that's what it suggests by name okay so what's abstract data type hmm that's interesting okay so now uh, with the primitive data type you would know that we have operations right like if we take integer we can add them or we can perform multiple operations are defined data type as well we should be able to you know uh, do operations on them and that's what abstract data types or adts are this is the basically declaration of data plus declaration of operations like if we take an example of stacks we should uh, you know say how the data should be stored so in stack we uh, call this lifo uh, mechanism so last in first out okay so basically stack is you can uh, think of a stack of books okay so if you keep uh, what do you say book above a book and then above a book so that basically otherwise well the stack will fall 